All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushai, Ba Hashem Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and True Well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. This is Marcus Zafra from Trend Alcam. Just want to do a quick qualification for the elect's sake. All right. And as we see that we are approaching the very end of Esau's kingdom, all right, the scripture said in Ecclesiastes, the wise man's eyes are in his head, all right? And also in Proverbs, it says, the prudent man foresee the evil and hide it himself, but the simple person are destroyed. So the wise men, the wise men are the men that the Lord woke up to understand this word. His prophets, his servants, his elect, all right? Because though, as the scripture said, they, um, they arose a great army, but there was no breath in them. So, though is a lot of people waking up to the fact that they are Israelites, not all of them have the, the breath in them. Alright? Some teach that the mark of the beast is Christianity. Alright? Some deny the name of the Lord, Yahabah, Shem Yahushai. Alright? So, simply knowing that you are Hebrew Israelite, only takes you so far. You need to, to, as the scripture said, eat the whole roll. You have to understand the whole truth, have 100% truth. All right? And the thing is that two-thirds of Israel, they would never understand the things that we speak of. They would never understand the, the things that the Most High promised, the things that the Most High prophesied in His Word. All right? But the elect will understand. All right. The scripture said the elect had obtained it and the rest and the rest were blinded. All right. So this is Isaiah chapter 42 verse 19. It says, who is blind but my servant or deaf as my messenger that I sent? Who is blind as he that is perfect and blind as the Lord's servant? Seeing many things, but thou observest not. Opening the ears, but he heareth not. All right. So two thirds of Israel, they would never understand. All right. As I brought up Papa video this morning about you know in the in the chat group that we have about using baby fetuses as um you know food sweeteners and we'll have two thirds that will discredit that they will say nah that ain't true they don't do that they, they put all faith in the so-called white man but none in their own people all right because in their mind the the so-called white man is the walking personification of wisdom as they see so-called white man, he in sage mode. He autom being white automatically makes you a scholar. All right? Just because you dress good and talk shit and package it well doesn't mean that you know what the fuck you're saying. All right? Wisdom, wisdom is from, from, is, comes from the, the words of the Most High. All right? And from, and from the Most High. All right, that is why a lot of you people out here deceive because guess what? The Most High haven't revealed His mysteries unto you. You don't have the mind of the Most High. All right, so you people blind. But guess what? The Scripture said in Isaiah twenty six eleven, they shall not see, but they shall. They don't see, but they shall see. So you people, you don't see now. You don't see that we are the end of Esau's kingdom. You don't see that America being destroyed. You don't see that the Akri beast is the RFID chip. You don't see that you know the the apostles of great medicine are the men of the Lord. All right? You don't see that Yahweh Shai coming back with the thousands of heaven. But guess what? You shall see. You shall see. All right? Time coming, you will see. This is Psalms. Chapter 92, verse 5. It says, O Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, how great are thy works. And thy thoughts are very deep. The brutish man, with the word brutish means stupid. The brutish man know it not. Neither does the fool understand this. So the fool, they wouldn't understand the things that we speak of. When we go out and we prophesy, when they call us madmen, they say we speak in shit, they defame us, they bring lying accusations against us. They would never understand. Because if they understood, then they would have never put Yahweh Shai on the cross. But all that was set up that prophecies would be fulfilled. All right, so you people were just pawns in this, this, you know, in this whole scenario that the Most High set out. All right, you people just pawns. Two thirds of Israel just pawns. All right, you don't understand the, the will of the Most High. All right, but the Most High made it known unto us through His words. All right, 
The Lord's thoughts are very deep. We don't, we don't even understand the full thoughts of the Most High. All right? Because the scripture said, the more thou search, the more thou shall marvel. All right? And we see in part and prophesy in part. But with the little that the Lord allows us to see, all right? We understand fully the times that we're in. And we can see clearly that Esau kingdom coming to abrupt, an abrupt end. Luke 10, 19. So Satan, 10, 18, I believe. Um, so Satan, like, like lightning falling from heaven. All right? This is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways, um, neither are your ways my ways, saith Yahabah Shimei Ashai. For as heaven, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. All right? So the Lord weighs higher than all our ways. All right? But guess what? We could safely tell two thirds that our ways are not your ways. Because us keeping the Sabbath, us keeping our beards on our face, you know, trying to instruct a woman in the right ways, having them dressed mod modestly, all right? Two thirds look at that as, as being something, you know, something, you know, crazy. They look at us like mad people. Because guess what? Our ways are not their ways and our thoughts are not their thoughts. Because why? We follow the ways of the Mosa, Yahabah, Shemi, Al Shai. So even the little, the little knowledge that the Lord gave us, too high for two thirds. The scripture says wisdom is too high for a fool. All right. So two thirds will never understand this word. All right. That is why the scripture said in Titus, when you see a man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition, hey, hey, if you don't want to conform to this truth, hey, reject. Don't don't try to shove this word down nobody's throat because it's only for the elect. Only the elect will understand this. All right, only the elect will understand this word. So stop trying to push this truth down everybody's throat. All right, especially the woman. Stop trying to be captain, save a hoe. This is John chapter 17, verse 14. It says, I have given them thy word, and the world hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So the Lord Yahweh Shai said, He gave us the word, He gave us the understanding. All right, He gave us. That is why we, that, hey, guess what, like, um, when the scripture said that Yahweh Shai is the seed of David, yet some people believe that it was a, um, an immaculate conception, all right, pagan doctrine, like these two buffoons, all right, beavers and butthead, all right, from Yashal and Milwaukee, they claim themselves to be breaking down the scriptures and be doing a, making a mess of it, all right, now they talk about if, if you're born out of wedlock, you're a bastard, guess what, sex is marriage, whether you want to believe it or not. But the Lord didn't give you that insight because what it's not for you. As the scripture said, it was given unto you to know the mysteries of heaven, but unto them it was not given. Unto us it was given to know the, the mind of the Mosai, but unto the others it was not given. Alright? Yahweh Shai said, I thank the Father of heaven that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, but I read them unto babes. We are the babes. The Lord revealed it unto us from the apostles all the way down. All right, the men of Great Millstone and also the men that are not under the label Great Millstone but teach the exact same doctrine 100% truth as Great Millstone. All right, those are the men that the Most High had revealed his mysteries to. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23. It says, Thus saith Yahweh Hashem Shai, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might, let not the rich glory in his riches, but let him that glory, glory at glory in this, that he understand and know it me. And we understand and know Yahweh is his name, Yahweh Shai is his son's name, and he only coming back to save the elect of Israel and put all the other nations into captivity. He can destroy two thirds of Israel. America going to be destroyed by thermonuclear nuclear destruction. The RFID chip is the mark of the beast. Cornelius was the first of the Israelite foreigners to be brought back in, to be grafted back in. All right. Yahweh Shai is the seed of David, the seed of Joseph. All right. And guess what? He coming back to reign. King David coming back to reign. And the apostles are the men of the, 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 men of the Lord, the true men of the Lord. All right, so the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshal made known that unto us, but unto the others He had not made it known. All right, and that is why we are to we are to take we are we have to cherish this knowledge. 
We have to cherish this knowledge. We have to cherish this knowledge as like the way we would cherish a piece of bread in, in a famine. That is how much we have to cherish this word. All right? Because the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahashai gave us unto us. Hey, Yahweh Shai died for us to receive this. So we have to cherish this word that we don't lose it. All right? Because once we lose it, we ain't going to get it back. All right? Because the Lord revealed it unto us. And millions, billions of people, the Lord could have chose to reveal this word unto, but he chose you. He chose you out of that, out of over 7 billion people to reveal this word unto. All right? So we have to we have to be be thankful. All right. The final scripture here. This is First Corinthians chapter two verse eleven. For what man knoweth the things of man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of Yahweh knoweth no man but the spirit of Yahweh. Then the scripture say Yahweh shall he reveal his word unto us. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yahweh, because Yahweh Shai gave us the understanding. He sucked with us. He brought the scriptures down to us. All right? That we might know the things that are freely given to us of Yahweh, which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. All right? And guess what? The RFID chip, that is something spiritual. You compare the scriptures with things that are going on around about and you know for a fact, all right, that that is the mark of the beast, all right? But as the scripture said, the brutish man knew it not this, all right? Verse 14, it says, but the natural man receiving not the things of the spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him. Yeah, like when we say the mark of the beast is the RFID chip, that is foolishness unto other people, all right? It says... Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. So you people, you're not spiritual. You candle as hell. And the most are not dealt with you to reveal this word. And I'm not being proud. I'm just stating the facts. Verse 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself is judge of no man. Alright? The reason he judge of no man because guess what? He cannot follow the will of Yahba Hashem Shai. It says, for who had known the mind of the Lord? That he may instruct him. But we have the mind of Mashiach. We have the mind of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Alright? Because the Lord revealed the things unto us. So the things that, I'll, I'll, yeah, that Yahweh Shai know. Alright? He revealed unto us that, that are lawful for us to know. That are expedient for us to know at this time. That are necessary for our salvation. The thing that necessary for the doctrine, for the gospel, for our salvation to wake up the elect, the Lord made it known unto us. Alright? So we could safely say our thoughts are not your thoughts. Alright? Because our thoughts are of the most high, two-thirds thoughts are of the world. I am from above, you are from beneath, as Yahweh Shai said. So we have to cherish this word. Alright? So with that, I want to give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of great mercy to not rule well. Salutations to the men of the sincere elect. I want to say Shalawam. It's my cousin saying Shalawam.